was imagining an orchestra. I discussed with my band and it was just not completing the vision. We needed another point of view and it had to be big. It had to be a grand kind of, I was hearing a big soundscape. So I asked Marina and I asked Serena and they know our music very well. So they suggested that why don't you speak to Mark? Why don't you speak to Mimikai? Listen to their music. I think you will like what they're, what they're about. And when I, I on, on YouTube, I saw uh, two concerts of Mimic Orchestra, and I really uh, watched it with a lot of attention. And I knew that, okay, these, these are the guys. I, I knew that, you know, from the moment I heard it, I knew that, you know, I, I should definitely just do this collaboration, not even think about anything else, because I felt very connected to their music. Ako nam se udaljenost od Indije do Hrvatske i dosad činila golemom, ako nam je i dosad bilo teško zamisliti neku crtu koja bi spojila primjerice Kalkutu i Koprivnicu, danas je taj dojam naoko samo još izraženiji. Razdoblje pandemije, a zatim i krize u kojoj se svijet trenutačno nalazi, čini sve težim zamisliti zajedništvo i dijalog među različitim, osobito geografski udaljenim kulturama, koje sve više djeluju kao odvojene galaksije, zato je posebno dojmljiva činjenica da su se u listopadu 2022. godine u Koprivnici mogli okupiti glazbenici iz Indije i njihovi kolege iz Hrvatske, kako bi zajednički snimili jednu glazbenu SF priču. I to upravo o intergalaktičkom putovanju, potrazi za utopijskim planetom na kojem vladaju mir i sloga. Riječ je o novom projektu Body Satva, jazz fusion sastava iz Kalkute, koji čine gitarist Bodhisattva Goš, bubnjar i udaraljkaš Premđit Duta, te pijanist i klavijaturist Arunava Šonaj Čaterđi. Trio je osnovan 2012. U deset godina djelovanja ostvario je niz međunarodnih nastupa, ali i postao jedan od istaknutijih predstavnika snažne fusion scene u Indiji, te snimio jedan EP i tri albuma. Koliko god djelovalo neobično, to što Bodhisattva svoj četvrti album Frontier snima u Koprivnici nije nimalo slučajno. Za tamošnju su nezavisnu izdavačku kuću Intec Music 2019. godine objavili zapaženi The Grey album da bi svoje najnovije izdanje odlučili i snimiti u Intecovu studiju s Marinom Hrašćanecom kao producentom. U tome im se pridružuje puhačka sekcija našeg Mimika orkestra uz kompozitorski, aranžerski i orkestracijski doprinos njegova voditelja Maka Murtića. U tom dijalogu različitih glazbenih tradicija Bodhisattvin šarolik spoj psihodelije, fjužena roka, indijske glazbe i drugih poticaja postaje prostor u kojem se žanrovski okviri šire, rastežu i ponovno definiraju, a kulture, suprotno širim trendovima, susreću i međusobno obogaćuju. I don't know really what kind of a sound it is, you know. If it's, it falls under the jazz umbrella, but it's not really jazz or it's not really rock or it's not really drum and bass. It's not really Indian traditional music. I don't know what it is. It's like, I think it's very honest and it's a very experimental kind of space where there's a lot of thinking and we are really challenging the boundaries of defined genres. So I think Mimika and, and that way you know it's not classical music it's not jazz it's not really balkan traditional music it's a it's an amalgamation of uh, of of ideas and sounds and they have their very strong uh, identity as as an as an ensemble and so i i do believe that we have an identity so i think if these two identities come together we will create a third element which is the what this album is all about you must not cry with me At first, actually, the music didn't come first. What came first is the concept. So I had in mind that, you know, this was a, happened during the COVID uh, lockdown, the first lockdown, where I couldn't leave my, nobody could leave their apartment. So we were all shut. And then I thought about this uh, concept about, you know, okay, the world will end. There will be nuclear war. We will destroy each other. But we have to find a new home in outer space somewhere. So I thought about this journey. So that whole journey is the album. So I divided it into segments, just like a science fiction novel or a science fiction movie. And then I decided that, okay, this will have this kind of a musical treatment. This will have this kind of music. Okay, this will be a little funk oriented. This will be a ballad. This will be like drum and bass. This will be like hard bop. This will be 
psychedelic this will be modern electronic music like like that i like broke it broke it broke it into different different different, different classification and so and after that as far as uh, each of these tunes are concerned what i think about first is the groove the time so i had all these ideas and sketches in my mind like about how much space to leave in the compositions and how much space to occupy so and the thing is that also because we are touring right now in europe as a trio it's a, it, without mimic obviously so we have versions of that where it's complete as a trio so for the recording i kind of tailored it and changed a little bit about as in how we are playing it so we have two versions of uh, each each of these uh, tunes you can say <laughs> Kako sam živio u Londonu, godinama sam svirao u ansamblu koji se zove Grand Union Orchestra. I taj orkestar, između ostalog, vodi, um, odnosno vode razni glazbenici, ali između ostalog vodi Yusuf Ali Khan, koji je tablista i poznavate bangladešanske i indijske klasične glazbe, kao i tradicijske glazbe poput, um, poput Bangre i poput račekstanske glazbe i tako dalje. I, i puno orkestracija koje je on radio su ostavili nekakav utisak na mene i, i tada, prije sedam godina ili koliko već, ali e, sad sam to aktivno koristio, te nekakve elemente koje su mi bili poznati od tada sam aktivno koristio u orkestracijama za ovaj album. Kad smo se počeli razgovarati o tome što ćemo raditi, dogovorili smo se da u principu ja aranžiram, ne samo orkestriram, nego aranžiram skladbe koje je on pisao, koje njegov trio svira, a također da ja pišem skladbe koje će biti neki uvodni elementi u album ili e, nekakve središnje točke. E, I onda sam ja u principu pogledao svoj stari Mars folder i shvatio zapravo da imamo jako puno poveznica, ne samo, ne samo narativnih, nego i, i harmonijskih i melodijskih. Na neki način smo se bavili sličnim temama u, u mojem bivšem albumu, uh, pa je tako mimikin albuma Place Glowing a Brilliant Red uh, se bavio temom naseljavanja Marsa. I, a Bodhisattva Goš uh, je također zainteresiran za nekakve teme gdje, gdje svojim svemirskom eksploracijom u tom novom albumu Frontiers, gdje u principu istražuje na koji način uh, je današnja na sociopolitička situacija, odnosno kako je metaforički prezentira um, sociopolitičku situaciju u svijetu. Evo, snimamo u Intex studiju u Koprivnici i uh, taj studio je, ima jedan veliki live room, znači veliku prostoriju za snimanje u kojoj u principu stane cijeli tako band poput mimike. Um, ali smo odlučili odvojeno snimati, odnosno da snimamo ritam sekciju u jednom prostoru, a puhače u drugom prostoru. Ok, ovoga bubanj će biti tu dosta glasan. Možem, jel? Poanta toga je bila u tome da je ovo relativno glasan band, odnosno ta ritam sekcija je relativno glasna, a mi smo htjeli, i, i što je lijepo kod njih, jer će napraviti um, nekakav zvuk koji je moderni, koji možda je nekakva fuzija i džeza i mesiva teka i tako raznih suvremenih stilova, a s druge strane to nama otežava na neki način da imamo neku čistu dinamiku. Pa smo odlučili da ćemo snimati u tom dinamičnom prostoru puhače, a oni isto vremeno snimaju u drugoj prostoru. Naravno, to je opet s druge strane problem, jer, jer tu postoji dirigiranje. Ne? Pa, pa smo evo, koristili studio malo više kao instrument nego inače, pa smo razmišljali studijski, razmišljali smo i sa click trakama i sa i sa kjovima koje smo dodavali između i u principu sa presnimavanjem i dosnimavanjem nekih elemenata ritm sekcije kasnije čini mi se da funkcionira. Idemo še jednom. Pa ovaj projekt je zapravo dosta izazovan jer radi se o srazu dvije 
tako kažem, različite glazbene strukture. Jedna je akustična, znači to je jedna puhača sekcija, a s druge strane radi se o i korištenju elektronike. Evo ovdje u ovom studiju smo uspjeli sastaviti znači sve ono što je bilo potrebno da se takav projekt realizira. Taj novi album je zapravo jedna priča, jedna jedno putovanje s planeta Zemlje na u neki prostor među planetarni ili čak međugalaktički gdje Bodhisattva traži svoju inspiraciju za glazbu jer je njihova glazba takva da je jednostavno čovjeka zažmiri, zatvori oči vrlo lako odputuje negdje Bodhisattva trio zapravo ima jedan ukus i estetiku koja, iako su bendovi toliko udaljeni, jedni od drugih zapravo jako dobro pašu zajedno. I makove kompozicije i aranžmani, to jest koji je napravio, nekako jako dobro spajaju i njihovu glazbu i njihovu ideju sa ono što mimika je, pogotovo sa tim core dijelom puhačke sekcije. Tu su ti jako prepoznatljivi motivi koje Mak koristi, način na koji koristi puhače i također način na koji koristi improvizaciju članova orkestra. Postoje momenti i dijelovi gdje svakom od nas dao dosta široke, to je dosta otvorene ruke, da se izrazimo na nama zanimljive načine. Indijska glazba je za mene nešto što je vrlo interesantno i prije nekakvih desetak i više godina sam možda čak i više se bavio sa time kad sam malo istraživao što je to, pošto su oni poznati sa njihovom klasičnom, tradicionalnom glazbom koja je vrlo jaka, ritmički, ne? U ovom projektu koji trenutno radimo je Znači, dijelomično je orkestralni dio i dijelomično su improvizacijski dijelovi gdje solista improvizira. Ono što sam ja shvatio u indijskoj glazbi da je to njihova tradicionalna klasična glazba i da je u stvari više manje sve, sve se zna. Improvizacija kao improvizacija u smislu zapadne ili e, e, američke improvizacije gdje se improvizira na nekakve zadane harmonije ili na nekakvu formu. Znači ne improviziraju oni u stvari puno. Naravno da imaju tu i improvizacijski dijelo, ali nama to zvuči kao improvizacija pogotovo jer su jako jaki su ritmički. I to je ono što je i nama bilo izazovno u ovom projektu kad radiš sa indijskim glazbenicima osjetiš koliko imaju jak i osvješteni ritam i onda se mi pokušavamo na to malo, ajmo reći, naljepiti. The world is a small place, we have access to the internet. It's a... Western civilization is everywhere. So obviously, you know, and I grew up in the, we grew up in the cities, obviously. So we have a very, you know, a big city kind of urban life. So like we have our traditional music, which is in our blood, obviously. Western music is also a very important part of uh, like our culture, Indian, Indian urban culture. So I guess that's not a very big deal for me. I didn't think of it as, okay, this is Western music. I thought of it as just music. And because I picked up guitar, I learned, I went into rock, then I went into blues. Then I studied jazz, so all of these influences is pretty much there. I also studied, uh, played with a lot of Indian traditional 
musicians, like what we call classical musicians. So all of it, all of it is uh, pretty much a melting pot, as as in how much I can absorb what what I'm seeing in the world. And of course, 70s fusion, as in uh, you know, Mahavishnu Orchestra, is a, has has had a huge impact on me. And John McLaughlin is uh, one of my favorite players, and. Uh, you know, that kind of that kind of music always you know struck some kind of a chord because the first time I heard Mahavishnu Orchestra, for me it was not just music or any sound. It was I could see colors literally, like I could see a cosmic bloom kind of happening. So that's kind of attracted me towards uh, experimental music and fusion music. And also I'm very influenced by what's happening in the jazz scene right now. Like I mentioned, one of my favorite guitar players is uh, Wayne Krantz. Then I love the music of Jojo Mayer. I love uh, Robert Glasper. All of all of uh, this kind of this kind of thing. Mark Juliana. So, yeah, so that kind of uh, thing. Brad Meldow is one of my favorite pianists. Album, we are using a lot of textures, so there's a lot of uh, sound design or uh, let's say sound painting thing, which which we don't know until we play. So I think these all these different uh, you know brushes and hot rods and mallets allows me to you know really enhance allows me. I actually um, in our uh, uh, the rhythmic vocabulary is coming out of the Indian system, and that is that is where I think uh, my training as an tabla player also helped because we have all these uh, odd meters where uh, we are counting in in, in 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 Indian system where we have the one and a half, which is not really a Western counting system. Uh, I mean, you can count eleven eight to understand a Western system, but Essentially, we are not counting 11, we are counting five and a half. So which is like a bar of four, four and a bar of three, eight. So you can go one, two, three, four, tuck it. One, two, three, four, tuck it. So it's like more of like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. So, but if you combine two bars of that, then it is becomes a bar of 11. It's all this, you know, Indian counting system comes into play when we are uh, composing. And um, it's interesting because it's something uh, I think uh, is our natural influence because we are Indians. So, so all that uh, different vocabularies, I think, we, uh, is part of our sound. I am born and brought up with a musical fam music uh, musical family basically, and uh, both my dad and uncle are into Western music, so that was my primary um, influence for sure. Although I started off with tabla, learning tabla, that's the traditional Bengali uh, family. They always push for like harmonium or tabla, tabla like learning those. So I learned it uh, till 95 or 96, and then I moved to piano. My dad was my inspiration, and um, so there was one uh, album which I don't know because we never found the cassette again. That was my primary, like, first uh, love for jazz. I didn't know what jazz is and all, so that was my first inspiration for jazz. So I know that's called jazz, and that's so uh, like uh, it touched me. And then I chased for a teacher and I learned it, and I never worked on it in classical, but I managed to learn jazz. I am not trained Indian classical musician. I am primarily a Western classical musician and jazz musician. So it never uh, became a problem for us to communicate with Mark. Um, well, for this uh, album, as this is a this is a concept-based album, we had a certain kind of sounds in my in our minds, or um, certain kind of thoughts, like we are chasing the so sound or the visual for. Uh, it became really easier for us to communicate with Mark because as we uh, told him, as he conveyed 
that this is the one we're looking for or this kind of a sound he just grasped it like immediately we've had to find a melting point where we both can compromise and uh, uh, keep the trio sound and the horn section sound at the same time <laughs> We have a tune which is called Ghosts of Mars. So when I sent that to Mark, Mark said, ah, so we, we have very similar thoughts, you know, so we can, we can do this. So yeah, it's, it's very interesting in the way that this, you know, like you said, continuum, I mean, it's all connected. And, and I'm, of course, uh, I'm a huge fan of uh, science fiction, the books or the uh, cinema. And one of the main influences behind writing this album is uh, two thoughts, Stanley Kubrick's feature film on Arthur, artistic life novel, 2001's A Space Odyssey, where at the end, you know, he emerges as another uh, star child, the astronaut, and he goes through Jupiter to get to another, the other, another dimension. So we have something very similar, actually. And yes, that's about, the, that's about it. I mean, there are a lot of, lot of uh, influences. I mean, be it uh, literature, be it cinema, be it music, it all comes together as a part of a learning experience, actually. learning and unlearning also. We are also evol evolving. So in the previous album, we had a different inspirations. And in this album, we had more like electronic, uh, more like... Um, there are a couple of artists which, which we follow and we read, we watch some movies. So based on the theme, we decided uh, for this album. And uh, those became, uh, of course, classical, like modern classical music. That was like Bartok and you know the other, a few Debussy's and all. Those those were really Stravinsky's. Those were uh, like we like one of the. I mean, a few of our inspirations for sure. Uh, behind the concept, building the concept and all, not the like instrumentation wise, as you know. But uh, yes, and also at the same time, modern electronic music, how the uh, like DJ uh, work with the uh, frequencies, play with the frequencies and, you know, match two pieces together. And he creates a lot of ambience and uh, like a lot of EGM or house music. So a lot of things together. And at the same time, uh, Indian uh, Tal system, that also uh, was a big inspiration for this album. something which we haven't heard we want we don't want any rules we don't want any boundaries we want to just you know just 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 play like like we are talking like you know we if we know the language we speak we do not uh, plan it out before that okay today I have an interview and I'm going to speak and if he asked me this question this is what I'm going to say no there's no plan we know the language we converse it's something like that. In this uh, album, typically there is a lot of interplay, there's a lot of improvisations, there's a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, there are moments where I don't know what I'm going to play next, but because he plays that, that is why I respond to it. So it's very exciting for me as, uh, as a musician, yeah. I would say that the whole album is a joint idea, in the sense concept koji je pisao Boj Satva je njegov koncept i narativ je njegov, ali uh, mi je dao potpuno oslobođene ruke da mijenjam elemente skladbi. Naravno, nisam mijenjao puno elementa skladbi, ali bi otvorio neke stvari da se može, da u principu pola cijelog, ajmo reći, melodijskog materijala dolazi s moje strane, a pola je njegov. Ja? A on sam po sebi je nekakva vrsta, da bi rekao, um, fusion, um, fusion jazza koji ima utjecaj i Pink Floyda i tako nekih gustih, gustih um, um, zvučnih, zvučnih uh, elemenata, jel? Tako da je tu bilo malo možda čudno stavljati sve orkestracije, jel? Ali, ali je fora bilo u tome da njegov melodijski kontent je zapravo jako minimalan. I onda smo se mogli igrati s time gdje će, gdje će zvučni elementi biti da će pojesti orkestra, gdje će možda orkestra uopće neće biti u prvom planu, već će se pojavljivati u nekom svemirskom, eteričnom prostoru, iza ili, ili ispred ili oko, oko slušatelja. 
U Hrvatskoj inače nema baš previše ili nema puno takvih međunarodnih suradnji projekata, a u našoj Koprivnici još i manje. Da ne kažem da je to eto, možda i prvo ovako audio snimanje ljudi koji su došli sa različitih strana svijeta. Zapravo mi je jako drago da se ovakav jedan događaj, snimanje Bodhisattva Trija i Mimike, desio baš ove godine, kad i naš jazz klub, KC Jazz klub, proslavlja 25 godišnjicu od osnutka i kontinuiranog rada. Znači, mi već 25 godina u Koprivnici organiziramo koncerte jazz glazbe u sklopu ciklusa Jazz from the Woods, a u posljednjih, evo, koliko, 7-8 godina radimo i fest jazza. To je dodatni program koji smo osmislili tako da bude centralni program koji se odvije na našem glavnom trgu i gdje ugošćujemo međunarodne, znači to je festival međunarodnog karaktera. Tako da smo, evo, imali preko 250, preko 300 koncerata zapravo do sada već sve skupa u tih 25 godina. Music is a very, uh, very spiritual uh, thing for me. I mean, I mean, I don't believe in any particular god or any particular religion, but if you ask me, music is my religion. So it's not a very worldly thing like this guitar or anything. This is just a tool to connect to the higher form. So that is my God. It's, a, it's like meditation to me. And I feel certain things which I am very fortunate that I feel them because I'm a musician. Probably if I wasn't, maybe I couldn't have experienced you know, spirituality in, in that sense. So when I'm playing music or when I'm listening to music, it's a very uh, you know, a holy experience for me. You know, it, I, it, I hold it very sacred and, it's, and a lot of respect towards, towards arts and music in general. I, I, that's, that's the way I, I, I feel. So it's a very spiritual experience for me and the way this album is written out and the way uh, I want to tell the narrative also is a very sp spiritual journey. It's not a materialistic uh, you know, journey. Kako se veselimo ovoj suradnji, odnosno ovom albumu, izlasku ovog albuma, postoje neke naznake da ćemo izvoditi upravo taj materijal sa trijom i sa tim e, smanjenim komadom mimike i u Hrvatskoj i u Indiji, pa ćemo vidjeti.